hi in today's video I'm going to be showing us how to create an account with NMC UK because I've noticed that most people struggle to actually find the location where to even start from and all that in the account creation so today I'm going to be showing you where you need to click on the website to make you joining the register it's quite smooth if particularly you are trained and you school outside the United Kingdom so the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to be typing the website in okay so the website is nmc.org.uk that's the website you need to type then you just click on enter it's going to bring you down to this page okay then under this page you go to registration then you go to this part of the registration this part that says joining the register you click on joining the register then you scroll down then do you want to join the register as a nurse or a midwife or as a nursing associate but basically most people always want to join as a nurse or as a midwife just mm -hmm. click on that mm -hmm. then they will ask you uh, did you train within the United Kingdom or did you train outside the UK then just click on train outside the UK then at this point it will ask you check you are ready to register or find how to join so of course before you get to this conclusion you must be ready to register just click on find out how to join once you click on how to join then this is also still telling you about check you are ready to register but i know you are ready then you come on that this complete eligibility um, qualification application you go to begin my application that's the next thing you're going to click begin my application then once you get to begin you click on begin my application you come here and click on start my application then you can return back if you want to if you need guidance you can click it but what you need to do is click on next then it's going to ask you do you want to register as a nurse or you want to register as a midwife then you choose the pathway which is okay for you then here you'll click on i want to register as a nurse then it's going to ask you which aspect do you want to register okay this is where i just want to chip this for those who are actually qualified for nigeria to be specifically if you have your registered nursing certification or your school in nigeria do you know that your general nursing certificate you can actually use it to register as a mental health nurse in the united kingdom yeah so you know, general nursing certificate is actually expected that you register as a nursing register nurse adult that's for general however because of the curriculum that we uh, the, the, the curriculum in nigeria educational system that has to do with uh, the general nursing certification and qualifications and all that you can actually use that to register as a mental health so what that as a mental health nurse what that means is that your cbt is good you're going to do this mental health cbt and you're going to be sitting for mental health OSCE but it's actually something I actually advise that if you're a general nurse you should actually give it a try because it loads of people already on the general registrar re register and getting a job is becoming quite challenging so I actually advise you just register for mental health don't worry you read and study and I'm sure you are going to be able to pass but for the purpose of this video I'll just choose register nurse adult okay then you read these and click on yes and you click on yes then you click on yes then it's going to ask you the country of your nationality well nigeria now i'm just going to click on nigeria i'll just look for where nigeria is okay that's that's nigeria you select the country you train obviously I trained, I trained in Nigeria as well, so I'm just going to set the Nigeria. Then I'm going to click on the next. Then you are applying to register as a nurse adult. That's the register nurse. Now this is the point that you have the opportunity to edit this. Once you move on to the next and the next, you might actually not be able to edit 
all that again so just to be very sure like i said even if you are a general nurse you can actually apply to the mental health route in the united kingdom and you are going to still get registered okay then you click on next then sign up to register with nmc online then just click on sign up then it's going to ask you for this personal detail so i'll just go on to put the personal details right in here so right now i have pre-filled the details the email address the person's um, title now for those of us majority of us from nigeria we have first name middle name and last name you might actually want to add uh, your second name here okay because i know it's just uh, like they, they stated that if if you only have one name please enter it in both the first and the last name okay but i will advise you if you have first name and middle name you should just put it here now both will appear okay but then you put your son in there you go on to select your date of birth put your, well, your gender your phone number nigeria and, and the likes then you come here how do you sometimes you might have some challenges selecting date of birth you just go to click just click the year it will take you to where year is once you just click on what year you want click to the month and click the day the year rather the day rather you see it's going to pop up here then you move on to the next thing Okay, it's going to ask you to create a password, so I'm just going to create a quick password right now. Okay, and then you confirm the password. Uh, I would advise you use password that you're actually familiar with so that it won't become an issue uh, when you don't remember your password. But anyway, you have the option of resetting your password. So I'm just going to click on submit right now. Then uh, I'm waiting for it to submit. So it has brought me into this page. So the link that has been sent to me will expire within will expire after 24 hours. So I need to get on with, with it. I'll just go to my email address. Uh, this is the email I received for Nursing and Memory Council. I'll just uh, click on confirm email address. Then the next thing is telling me to proceed to actually log in. So I'll just click cancel this then my email address just type in my email address now now i use the, the gmail version of my email address then maybe put in the password right now then i will click on login to continue with the whole process Clicking on login now, then so at this stage you need to set up some security questions. Why this is important is for instances whereby you forgot your you forgot your password, you need to change, you need to change it and all that. These are some of the questions they're gonna ask you. So what's my favorite color? My favorite color is actually white. Uh my mother's median median name is uh, para then what's your place of bread my place of bread is also state then i click on submit i just wait for that to load so right now i have an account that is created if i want to cancel the account i can actually click on cancel or no why should i when i'm <laughs> when i actually want to join the register so there's no point in that so this is the initial part of creating uh, the process of creating your account with nursing and memory council uk but you are not done you need to get to the payment part which we can actually help you make the payment okay you can just reach out to us we help you to make the payment so you can click on apply now so when you click on apply now you it's going to tell you to upload some of your documents ask you some questions and all that 
then it's asking you do you have caring responsibilities do you yes to these yes to these of course you're already practicing yours and you care for people in these categories but you can prefer not to say but why wouldn't you want to say let's please let them know in what capacity you want to join the register do you have any disability if you have you just click yes and when you click yes they will ask you to select but you know i don't have any yeah they will ask you you're going to answer the question what is your ethnic group they i'm black and i'm from africa okay to be more specific they are ask you you just click on african and an african what gender what gender and then you click male this application is actually for a male so but you can actually prefer not to say anyway it's so uh, because we are having different gender orientation and uh, then i ask you does your gender ethnicity your, your gender identity match your sex as registered but yeah because people change their gender as they grow up so on this occasion it is yes here yeah. then how will you describe your nationality are you any of this obviously it's a no orders then they will ask you what is it you put nigeria okay then the actual religion and belief you just select christian sexual orientation bisexual do you do both are you gay or lesbian your choice heterosexual or straight obviously in this condition this candidate is very straight Thank you. Thank you. details of your passport your passport details Okay, that's what you are going to be filling here you're going to be filling in your passport details in this particular page so we we'll filled the name the name on the passport and the name they have put here you find out that they are going to match and it's not going to ask me why is the name different you see you move on to the next thing so it's asking your qualification details what was the qualification gained registered nurse like i said even if it was registered nurse and you want to apply for mental health nursing you will still be allowed to register so still put your qualification gain as registered nurse or registered general nurse hygiene registered nurse registered general nurse anyone is fine um date started when did you start the the school so this school was actually started in 2000 and 2009 i think um september okay september and um, when it was he awarded it was actually awarded in february february 2013 february 2013 it was on the 14th okay now if you don't know the student reference number is optional if you don't know you just leave it then you going to type the school name what school it is this is where the this candidate this person went to school school of nursing university college hospital did you use this qualification did you do this qualification to register in the country state you trained obviously it was used to register and practice in nursing and just so you said yes then it's going to ask you upload that certificate so just go and look for the certificate and upload it right now okay right the school the school of nursing certificate actually that's the one you are to what you are to upload right now so just click on upload that so we'll just go on to upload the certificate right now So this is the certificate. We'll go on to upload the certificate. So the certificate has been uploaded. Then we we'll click on next. Then here it's going to ask you your training regulators details. Obviously, this person trained in Nigeria, so the regulatory body is not sure if it comes from Nigeria. In which profession did you register? nurse or midwife okay what is the registration number it's just your registration number you need to put some people will go and put the RN. fine it's, it's all right 
they will still be able to identify it, but it's just the registration number you need. Then, initial registration date, when did you have your license to practice? So this was when, uh, when you changed the date to when we had, when this candidate had license to practice. So, so it was in 2013 and it was in the month of June and then it was the last date in June. So 2010, that was when the person had the license to practice as a nurse. Then it's asking us now to upload a copy of that certificate. So we'll just go on to upload. So for some people, they have certificate of registration. Why some people, they just have notification of registration. You can actually use your notification of registration as well. Either one that you have is actually fine. They will not be needing you to upload your license because that's where most people feel like, oh, I don't have my license yet. No, you just need to upload your certificate of registration. And that's all you need to do. So we've uploaded the certificate of registration. Then we click on next. So right now they're going to tell us check the details, ensure the details are all right. Like every detail is fine. Click confirm, click, click confirm, click confirm. Sure, everything is fine. If you need to change anything, this is the part that this is it is now that you can change it. Once you move to the next stage and you make payment, if you have to change anything, it has to be by you sending email to North America. So then you click on next. Next is going to tell you to make payment and the payment of 140 pounds. Okay, so. You're actually done you make payment this is where we actually come in again you can always contact the merchant nurse company to help you with the payment of your 140 pounds okay do not say if can so we'll be very happy to help you with that just click on you actually can pay with your nail card you have to use either dollar card or pounds card which we will be happy and glad to help you do but if you are not ready to make payment just click on cancel once you click on cancel, it's going to take you back. It's going to take you back to your page, return to home page. So as you can see, your account is set.